the Joe Rogan people really do not want this beige frequency thing coming out. So beige frequency made a documentary about Brendan Schwab, or Schwab, how you ever say his name, and Joe Rogan's company he works with, Ben Pixels, had the documentary taken down. I'm not going to reiterate the whole story. So I made a video about that, and I went and posted the video to Joe Rogan subreddit, r slash Joe Rogan. Now, I had, you know, a huge inkling that they were going to take it down. I'm not dumb. So I posted it, and then like one minute later, Tomaz on Twitter said, hey, I just saw your video on Joe Rogan's um, subreddit. I'm, I'll be shocked to see how long it lasts. Two minutes later, he retweets at me and says, yeah, they took it down. So I'm like, all right, all right. I figured that they would take it down. So I went to uh, Reddit and I went to my profile and the video is still up. Meaning, but then I went to the list, you know, I would list all the different things and I went to new, but it wasn't showing up. So they shadow banned it. <laughs> so they didn't take it down. They didn't lock the thread. They just shadow banned it. As you can tell, it's right here on the screen. Uh, it's got two likes. That's probably me and Tomaz. It lasted one, like three minutes up. The reason why I, I, I'm even talking about this is who runs Joe Rogan's subreddit? I would highly doubt Joe Rogan runs it or any of his people run it, or have anything to do with it. So I highly doubt that, which is almost even worse. Because, look, if Joe Rogan ran his subreddit, oh, of course, then of course it got shadow banned. But if Joe Rogan has nothing to do with this subreddit, then Joe Rogan fans and the people running this subreddit are the biggest cornballs I've ever seen in my life. And, like, what is, like, Joe Rogan, like, a cult leader to them? Like, we can't let the truth come out. Let's shadow ban all evidence against us. It's so corny. Like, I'm an ONA fan, but if someone ever put on a subreddit that I was a moderator of, like, proof, like, emails that behind the scenes, ONA were trying to get them shut down. My first thought would it be, I gotta hide this so no one can find out. No one can find out about this thing we like. Like, ew. <laughs> like, don't try and prevent the truth from coming out. That, that's just sad, to be honest with you. And, but, so, if Joe, like, once I, if Joe Rogan's responsible for it and has anything to do with his subreddit, that's corny, but I get it. If Joe Rogan has nothing to do with his subreddit, then Joe Rogan might have the saddest fans I've ever seen in my life. That but that's kind of sad. I mean, because if you go to any other subreddit, I don't think that if someone posted the truth about the subject of that subreddit, it would get shadow banned. We, they would embrace it like the ONA subreddit. They love it when you trash ONA. Now the Howard Stern subreddit, a secret video of him leaked doing an hour pinpoint presentation, convincing his fans to make fake Twitter accounts. And they celebrated that. <laughs> like, could you imagine if there was, an, like, the same thing, Howard Stern seminar, but Joe Rogan doing it and saying, hey, Jamie, make fake Twitter accounts they get guests on? They would have shadow banned it and never allowed on his subreddit. So uh, I'm very, very iffy about the Joe Rogan subreddit, and I find it, and if it's just his fans in charge of it, that's creepy, cult-like, quick, our guy's trying to screw this guy, beige frequency behind the scenes, we can't let any of the evidence hit the main audience, like, first of all, beige frequency is big enough at this point, that most, well, not, I won't say most, but a shitload of the Joe Rogan audience knows what's happening with that situation. A bunch of them already know. So you're not really stopping anything. You're honestly just embarrassing yourself because now i got to make videos like this because you're shadow banning. Like, not even taking down... Now, by the way, the reason why they did a shadow banning, which is extremely... which is some manipulative... 
manipulative thing to do. They're trying to make me, the poster of this video, think, oh, no one was just interested. That's what a shadow banning is, because, like I said, I'm on the thing right now. It's still under the Joe Rogan thing. Hasn't been locked. The thread's still going. It's just been shadow banned. So only two likes. So I got two likes in 10 seconds I uploaded it. And to the person who shadow banned it doesn't think, I'm going to go check through the list. He's probably hoping I to think, oh, I guess no one was interested in that video. Let me assure you, people on the Joe Rogan subreddit would be very interested to know that Joe Rogan is trying to take down some guy behind the scenes off of false copyright strikes. Everybody's interested in that, especially if it's not as big as Joe Rogan. So, like I said, Beige is going to be into a fight. I mean, he's squaring off against Joe Rogan behind the scenes. His the Joe Rogan's he can't even garner support within Joe Rogan's own ranks because his subreddit is shadow banning any news about this. Like people know, by the way, like there was a dude who, uh, whoever runs the Wing, uh, YouTube channel, you know, that Asian guy who, like, I think, does he do reaction videos? He commented and said they should pull off with the, uh, stop, uh, resend the copyright strikes, the false ones Ben Pixels is doing. So people know about it, but there's no backlash amongst the Joe Rogan subreddit because they won't allow there to be one, which I find to be sad. So, let me know in the comments, because I want to know this, but I wonder if any of you know how much involvement Joe Rogan has in his subreddit. I would highly doubt he's a moderator or probably even goes on there, but or if, like, anyone in his team has involvement, or is it just 100% just fan-made? I have no idea, but if it's 100% fan-made and, uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me check that real quick. If it's 100% fan made, then I gotta, uh, where's the moderator list? I'm gonna call out these losers real quick. Because something tells me this is fan made. So, if this is 100% fan made, Loki Racer only sleeps with a fan on, I guess that dude runs it, Accurate Line, JRE Mod, Not an Insane Scientist. The Grey Beard, Mr. Taco Man, Tim Duell, or Duel. I'm with Ham 2002, and Chief Anubis. All right, there's even more? Gee, how many friggin' mods are there? Yeah, well, all these dudes right here. All right, wait, so Loki Racer must have started this six years ago. So... These are all creepy dudes who their dear leader cannot be exposed. And if you go on there, like, if you go on there and start just a thread, just just start a thread and just put beige frequency. And then in the um, t um, text, just put that's all. And watch it get shadow banned. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're going to go after beige pretty hard, but... I would ask these dudes, these, what, what do you care? Like, are you getting a percentage of the Joe Rogan experience? You can't know the truth? What, is it, what are you, freaking, what's her name in the movie Oblivion with Tom Cruise? And he's like, let me just show you the truth of, you know, how messed up what's really happening is. And they're just, I don't want to know the truth. I'm Ron Howard's daughter. <laughs> I'm only in movies because my dad's a famous director. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> yeah, let me know um, your thoughts in the comments. Let me know who's really running this, if they're involved with Joe Rogan in any way. I doubt that, though. And uh, your thoughts on the whole situation. And someone should try that. Just start um, a thread called Beige Frequency. Put that to all. Just see how time, how quick it is before you get shadow banned. And that's what they're going to they're gonna do. They're not going to lock the thread. They're not going to remove the thread. They're just going to shadow ban the thread. So, it won't show up in the list, but if you go to your profile, it'll still show up just regular. Uh, Joe Rogan's looking very, very bad, but they all, like I've said, Kumia, Opie, all these guys you liked growing up, they all turn out to be 
bitches behind the scenes. It's a sad state of affairs.